today we are talking vitamin B10, para-aminobenzoic acid, or PABA for short. And as you will see, PABA is linked to vitamin B9 folic acid, which we explained in the previous video was critical for the production of DNA, especially when it comes to making red blood cells, which carry oxygen. So as always, the more you know, the faster you run. Let's take a look. So here, as we showed in the previous video, is how folic acid is used to create DNA. And this is the molecule of folic acid that we looked at. And what you'll notice is that folic acid is composed of three major groups. Over here, you have these nitrogen rings. Over here, you have a amino acid, glutamic acid. And right here in the middle, this is PABA. So as it turns out, in nature, plants, fungi, and bacteria use PBA, PABA, to create folic acid. And that's why green leafy vegetables like spinach are such a great source of folic acid in the diet. Indeed, the name folic acid comes from the Latin folium, which means leaf. So that's how it's all connected. And the same type of bacteria in nature that create folic acid exist in our, in our intestinal tract. And so by consuming PBA, PABA, the bacteria in your gut are capable of having another mechanism by which to go produce folic acid, the body needs it. So it creates another supply channel for this super important vital vitamin, hmm? vitamin B9 in the production of DNA, 